eyelid surgery, 31 years old. I'm very dissatisfied with the state of my skin around my eyes. Tired look, lots of wrinkles, saggy skin. I am 31 years old. Is upper and lower blepharoplasty recommended? All other facial skin, except around the eyes, is perfect. No wrinkles. Thank you for your question. You are 31 years old and you are concerned about the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around your eyes and you're asking whether or not blepharoplasty is an option. Well, as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon, I deal with this, these types of concerns every day of my practice. So I can share with you a little bit about my approach on how I counsel my patients. First, you have to understand that wrinkles and excess skin are not always synonymous. In fact, blepharoplasty, a surgical procedure defined by removal of extra skin, of addressing fat pockets, uh, puffy uh, bags under the eyes as well as over the eyes, will not make a significant improvement when you're dealing with the textural quality of skin. So when I look at a patient, I look at a couple of things. First is their age and skin type. It's very well established that people who have Caucasian lighter skin, for example, Irish descent, will have more accelerated aging of the skin manifested as fine lines and wrinkles compared to the age-matched, let's say, African-American skin type. So that's one part of the equation, the genetics. Then when we look at the causes of wrinkles, in addition to genetics, we think of what is going on the inside of the body as well as what is going on outside. So let me explain. When you, for example, smoke, smoking will cause wrinkles to accelerate and it is well established in the cosmetic surgery literature that fine lines, wrinkles, photo aging, or aging I should say, will be accelerated by cigarette smoking, whether it's from the carbon monoxide generation, the generation of free radicals, and all the other cell wall damaging effects of smoking. So if you do smoke, consider stopping. Think about the environment. The sun exposure is so much more of a factor in photo aging these days, and that's why it's called photo aging. It's sun-related, light-related, <laughs> accelerated aging. If you're spending a lot of time in the sun, or if you live in a place where there's a lot more incidental sun exposure, then you have to be mindful of always wearing sunblock and avoiding the sun as much as you can within reason. So now let's talk about the interventions that we can offer to help people with fine lines and wrinkles around the eye. First, we let's talk about the activity of the muscles. In the photo you submitted, it appears that you're squinting a little bit or you're smiling. And so the wrinkles that are generated from that is called dynamic wrinkles. Dynamic wrinkles means that a muscle is activated and those wrinkles appear. So how do we manage dynamic wrinkles? Well, we manage by using um, medications such as Botox or Dysport. These are what's called neurotoxins that are injected directly into the muscle in a very specific way to minimize the activity of those muscles so that those wrinkles are less likely to form. Not only does the residual activity of the muscle diminish, but if you think about paper being creased over and over, then you can appreciate that by reducing that activity, those lines become less pronounced. Now, when the, when the wrinkles are present at rest, those are called static wrinkles. Now, these are the wrinkles that are typically around the eyes, are like crisscross wrinkles or fine lines that parallel the muscle around the eyes called the orbicularis oculi muscle. Now, for treating those lines, we have several options. Some involve lasers, such as the fractional CO2 laser. And with lasers, what we're doing is we're, we're applying thermal energy in a very specific way to tighten the skin 
and to literally resurface the top layer of skin. It does not eliminate wrinkles, it improves the appearance of the lines. And something else that we do that I think is slowly becoming more well known is the use of platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is derived from your own blood and it is the concentration of the healing aspects of the blood called the platelets which with that plasma contains growth factors and something called vascular endothelial growth factor which means some, a factor that helps uh, stimulate blood supply. All of that has been shown in our practice to significantly enhance the appearance of skin quality. And when you think of it from a, let's say, a more scientific perspective, aging of skin, there is changes in the collagen makeup as well as in the blood supply and vascularity. So interestingly, platelet-rich plasma seems to have a reversing effect up to a point. But ultimately, there's a better quality of skin, there's better glow. The skin under the eyes is only half a millimeter in thickness. So there are limitations in what kind of fillers or other options you have. So conceptually, you would be someone who we would first, we would manage in a combination approach and not a surgical approach, but a non-surgical strategy, which includes neurotoxin like Botox or uh, Dysport, um, thermal energy such as laser, fractional CO2 laser, and regeneration using platelet-rich plasma. So although that can't stop everything or reverse everything, I think it can make a very significant impact in helping you look your best as you as you get older. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for your question.